So, episode 53. Again, we're starting in the medical ward. And can you guess why that is? That's right. The same team is going back again because I want money. And I see a long veteran quest and we have some very good candidates for that. So get your asses back in there and get my money. Don't come back out until you have 60k. They're going to the wheel, so we need to change up our trinkets here. Or, uh, not trinkets, strategy. So we're taking 16 torches. Um, we're gonna take more shovels than usual. Because of shovel curios. We're gonna take three skeleton keys. Because I expect at least two ancestral chests. Uh, two of these for the interactables. Let's take one uh, anti-venom and uh, one bandage. No, let's let's chuck the shovels down to, down down to three instead of four. Yeah, that sounds about right. Rabies, the black plague, the ague. Eh, they're still functional. Aside from having rabies for like three weeks straight and not allowing any time to rest and having to constantly fight repeatedly over and over and over, they're good. I'd say that our heroes are uh, pretty happy and healthy. Don't worry, I'm just going to put, I'll put a sign outside the guild where the barracks where they live and just, uh, it'll say that heroes work here. That's good enough, right? to compensate these characters for what all that they've done. I'd, I'd like to think so. And if it's not, well then that's... Y you guys are dissidents. Alright, let's begin. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a hunchback. We're more than likely gonna throw all of this stuff away. So. We're just having it be inventory filler for now, just in case something absolutely insane happens. We have some sort of profit. I'm not gonna discard it until I have to. Also, no! Actually, no, this is okay. Because if they miss like crazy, the Crusader's the only one getting destroyed for it. Blow to body and brain. Now, all of that damage was reduced. Every single one of them. Rounded, rounded downwards, too. Let's buff him. So it makes it that much harder because they're probably going to hit him three times this time. Damn it! The death by inches. There we go. Good job, Jester. Maintain the offensive.
Nice protection bonus and max HP. Decimated. By my hand. Fall! Look at how crazy they've stacked this blight damage on our Crusader. If this was anyone else, they'd be hurting right now. Even the Crusader's hurting. But they'd be hurting worse, probably dying. They wouldn't have survived the first salvo. Actually. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's get rid of that. The eye patch. Let's take the deeds. Shallah Hadid. I'm just speaking gibberish. Uh, no, that, that sounds like Arabic, actually. I heard a character in Civ Rev, Civilization Revolution say that. Uh, it was the first Civ Rev uh, Meyer made on Xbox. And there was Civ Rev games, or Civilization games before that, but... The, the first one I ever played was Civilization Revolution. I loved that game quite a lot. I was very into history when I got that game. I liked how the people long ago lived and uh, how they got things done compared to how we do them now today. And shockingly, the comparisons, like... So many more babies uh, were born differently. Like, for example, uh, women didn't uh, lay on their backs to give birth. Uh, they squatted and crouched down. Same for uh, taking a shit. They didn't squat uh, and, like, horribly disfigure their colon by doing so. Uh, they didn't do the Slavic squats sitting on the toilet seats. No, they, they crouched kind of like the... Japanese toilets. And it was much easier to poop that way. You know, the way your colon lines up. But anyways, uh, yeah, giving birth in that position was much better. There was like a king who had a fetish for watching women give birth. That, like, set the precedent for, uh, what people do in hospitals nowadays, but it's it's kind of like laying on your back on an incline and trying to poop that way, basically, if you're male. Continually to give a, a male comparison, I guess. Mickey told me about this, and uh, yeah, thank you for that, dear. Lesson of history in childbirth. All right, good. We saved a lot of money. Look at that. All those diseases cured right away. Are you feeling better? He's got back nine points of speed. <laughs> and his, his max HP actually went up rather than down because he had so many diseases before. His accuracy went back up. Oh yeah, I bet you're feeling way better now, dude. Probably kill him. Gun. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Be quiet, Wayne. Let me have this.
Just like that ruby. Let's eat this food. Money! Oops. Okay. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, now formed with misintent. Is it too early to be tossing a shovel like that? I mean, it branches off quite a lot. There's a lot of different paths. There's a square-like area here. And it'd be pretty hard to put enough obstacles in. We already got rid of one, so there should be only one or two more. Maybe. Sometimes RNG puts in, like, way more than that, though. It's been done before. take these because this is a this is a long quest supposedly like there's there's really not a lot of rooms for a long quest come to look at it thinking about it for a second here that's not a lot of rooms that's not a lot of rooms at all this is like a medium quest There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rooms. There's medium quests that are longer than this. Shit, there's boss quests that are longer than this. Hey, Towering Exoplasm, how's it doing? How you going, man? How's the kids? Hey, chill out! No! No! Okay, good. Get that fire, those squash tentacle horn attacks away from me. Alright, Crusader. Finish her off. That's not finishing her off. Do it again. Right this time. Stun the ectoplasm? Yes! Perfect! Kill this guy? Good. And finish off the enchantress. Don't miss this time. Crusader. I know you have rabies and like three or four or five more terminal diseases, and you've been working it without a break for this past month, but you're a hero, so do it right. Hey, stop it. No! <laughs> the antiquarian is actually about to kill. Yeah, she just killed it. You are getting a pay raise after this, by the way. You're just gonna get your normal pay.
Grave Robber is so special with her access to stealth. No other hero has that. I'm glad that they changed that for her. Before, she used to only just buff with dodge. And she's just kind of vulnerable 24-7. and You'd end up bringing, like, Blight Resist, uh, Bleed Resist, and, and Max HP Trinkets on her. And then you're just like, why well, don't I just bring a, a hero that's more tanky and just not bring her? Get someone else. And uh, therein lies some of the reasons why they buffed her. She, was, she also wasn't really used like other heroes either. She was actually very unused. One of the most unused heroes in the game. And rightly so, she, she didn't really have a lot to offer. The Highwayman did everything that she did, but better. And the only thing she had was, like, high speed and high crits. But... No life, really, really, really low life, and super high speed, she just, it's the perfect combination to get critted, and then hit with bleed or blight, and then die because, you know, you go before the Vestal does. So, yeah, that's, nobody liked that, that was really bad. Her max HP hasn't been solved as a problem, but the fact that she has stealth... Ooh, secret room! Look at that! Thank you, Ancestors, Matt. Thank you. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. If you have this Ancestors map and you run a party that doesn't have a roguelike character in it, like the Jester, the Highwayman, the Grave Robber, somebody to disarm traps, you can bring the Antiquarian with the map and she can disarm traps pretty well. She can even find them. Okay, old lady, you need to die. Right along with your dog. Die, doggy. Oh no! This dude just went full WWE on me. Shake it off, she says. Well, it's definitely shaking off. Ooh. I bet she feels way better now. Holy crap, I would. Alright. The dog is dead. Soon we won't have to fear the WWE anymore. There we go. Ah, we missed the stun. Hopefully the Crimson Curse craving is delayed. So, let's think about uh, the situation we've been in here for a while. And I'm not talking about this dungeon, but our gold reserves, 
uh, how we're doing as a whole. I want to say that we're doing well, but on that same note, I also feel like we've used a lot of time. We should probably hurry up. Now, we used almost 50% of our time. Now, we need a minimum of, like, four weeks. So, in theory, we still have all the way up until week 96. Because we've already cleared the sleeper from the farmstead. And we can clear the, uh... Oh, no, we need five more weeks. We can, yeah. So, we can wait until week 95. But I think that we can get some of this done a lot sooner than that. Just like the farmstead. We did that way earlier. Shit, you can do that the moment that the farmstead opens up. Really. If you get lucky enough to get a good crew of mercenaries and you check it every single time, but... I just kind of neglected that because I didn't. Ha I, ha I was busy with other things at the time. Precision and power. Uh, let's give the kill to the antiquarian. We can do that. The, beast, the greater the glory. Okay, where are we at? Uh, there's the secret room there. So let's get as many curios everywhere else as we can before we... Ah, valuables. Shiny. Now, uh, you know what? No, keep the onyx. Keep the onyx, because this is a long quest. We're going to get rid of the torches. Uh, there you go. Eat all that food. Hork that shit down. Don't even chew it, just just let your stomach acid do the work. Like a real gamer. That's how we gamers eat. We don't actually use our teeth that much. We just, uh... We just inhale the food. And we, uh... We just let our stomach acid digest the food for us. It's faster. That way we can get in more runs. Some people like to smash the food up and snort it through their nose. Uh, yeah, we, we take our food different ways, but it, generally speaking, we're a little bit more efficient about it than the average normie. What about you guys? Have you guys ever rushed to eat food just so you can get back to a game? Tell me about that time, too, if you know, if you want to share. Just talk with me. I'll be, I'll be uh, I'll be that YouTuber that just kind of does whatever I want. Another one falls. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? As the light Torches. is purchased, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Give me the goodies. You see, what I like is, we can keep interacting with stuff. Even if our inventory is chock full of trash, and, and junk, and gold, and items, we can still keep stacking up gold with the antiquarian here present. If she wasn't here, we wouldn't be doing these long quests like this. But hey, we got three diseases cured for free. Yay. <laughs> Now we only have four more left to cure. It would have taken weeks to get all of that shit off of me. Little did I know, all I had to do was just give them the Crimson Curse. Oh, uh, not to the Antiquarian though, okay? As soon as I'm talking about them, they show up as if to say, You rang? Huh? <laughs> Stop vomiting on us. It's unclean. Stop it.
resisted the Crimson Curse. <laughs> Stop vomiting, Dennis. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I remember when, when I was playing, uh, when I, no, when I was playing, yeah, when I was playing Dark, Darkest Dungeon years and years ago, when I was taking classes in college to become, uh, become a nurse, I actually couldn't have an idea for my essay, and then Darkest Dungeon came to mind. So I actually wrote an essay about it, and I wrote about the time that I fought the Shambler with uh, my group of characters. It, it was an epic story, alright? I did inflate what happened just a little bit, but it's an essay, alright? It doesn't need to all be true, okay? And I talked about a lesson that I learned of like, when I was a kid a long time ago, um, when I played video games, I would just kind of reset. Uh, if I ever got into a really bad situation or something happened that I didn't like, I would just restart the game and do it again. Uh, or I'd be like, no, that didn't happen, and I'd just, I, I'd just reload the last save and play it again for a better result with knowledge of what was going to happen in the future. But something always bothered me about what would have happened if I would have pushed through and how it could have been different if I had just if I just gave it a chance and just tried. And not only that, but if I decided to live with my mistakes and and just yeah, if I decided to just live with my mistakes and move on and keep pushing through what bad had happened to me, um, I always wondered, what, what was the result? What was going to happen in that world? Because I left before I saw its true conclusion. So I never know. And it didn't bother me at the time, but playing Darkest Dungeon, running into that shambler and thinking, ah, oh, shit, should I fight? Should I retreat? And everybody got critted. All four characters got critted on the first turn, and I thought, this is horrible. I, I need to I reload my save, but then I remembered you can't do that in Darkest Dungeon. And I thought, I can either retreat right now and cut my losses and leave, which I wasn't that type of person at the time. I would be stubborn. I would, I, I, I would push for victory, and that would be the only thing that I desired, is victory. And I wouldn't accept defeat at all. And I decided to push onwards because what other choice did I have? I can't reload my save in Darkest Dungeon. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to, like, dig into the save files and do that sort of crap, but uh, otherwise, you can't, you can't do that. And... And something changed inside of me when I fought that Shambler, because um, my characters were all pushed up to 100 stress. But this is the first time I'm fighting this Shambler. It's on, like, a veteran dungeon or something like that. And the Jester is getting fucked up right now. Hold on. Let me focus for a second. Uh, dodge accuracy. I don't know. We're just going to cure that. Uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, about the, uh, story, so... Yeah, I was... I was... Something changed in shot inside of me after fighting that champ. They are really focusing him down! Holy shit! Leave him alone! the Shambler, that was the first time I had ever really been pushed that far in Darkest Dungeon. It was a veteran dungeon, and I thought, oh, this game is pretty easy. All of the Apprentice dungeons are so easy. 
and when I saw that Shambler's Altar, I had read a couple of the books beforehand, and I thought, oh, this is the little altar in the book. Maybe there's a secret boss that I can fight. Yeah, there was a secret boss, all right, and when I stuck that torch in there and I remembered everything up to that point, I had just, in that moment, I had regretted everything about that encounter because I knew that I, well, I didn't, didn't know it at the forefront of my mind. I didn't accept that I was that stubborn, but I was. And, um, one of my characters almost died. And when I was uh, at like a hundred stress on everybody, everybody's all freaked out and nobody's virtuous. Um, I stayed and I kept fighting the Shambler. It was the end of the quest. I could have retreated and left and did anything that I wanted besides continue fighting, but I did. And I stuck with it. And I actually ended up killing the Shambler and all of my characters were at like 160 something stress. My uh, Abomination, he had a fucking heart attack once because the stress was so high. That's why his stress went back down. Then he went to death's door and we managed to kill him. And this is back when the, yeah, game first came out. And I wrote about just uh, what it changed inside of me to accept my mistakes and wear them as medals because if you don't have the opportunity to make those mistakes in the first place or maybe you don't have the chance to regret or or have that error you don't you kind of rob yourself of ever learning of that uh, learning yes you rob yourself of learning literally you rob yourself of the experience you deny uh you deny growth you can learn from other people's mistakes, yeah, but you're going to make some yourself sooner or later. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was a really big growing moment for me. I know it doesn't sound like much, but... How many of you guys, did you reload your saves when something bad happened? Or did you just stick with it and just be like, ah, okay, I guess... I guess I'll just take that on the chin then? because it happened. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> I think that story got a bit personal. Sorry, guys. I didn't forget about the treasure room. I just uh, wanted to see what was in this treasure chest first. All right, let's drop that onyx and get this gold. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Fight! Okay. Let's get a little bit of money for this battle. Sorry, I, I just, I just paused and reflected on my story for a moment there, and uh, yeah, impactful. Some of you viewers might not care about it, uh, and that's cool. Uh, it's just my own personal moment for me that I wanted to share. But I, I really do want to know, uh, Alistair, Iverleen. Uh, I know both of you watch. Oh, who else? I only have like nine subscribers, so I should be able to remember you guys' names, but 
only two or three of you have ever commented, and the rest of you only watch my videos, so... Or, or have watched one or two. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Ouch. Right. Guard. He's gonna smack. Oh. Injury, palpable fear. Ouch. Okay, the doggy's gone now. Down, doggo, down. We've got the Crusader to forcibly shuffle him back into position. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. that treasure room now. We're gonna have to go around the top. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Treasure. Holy shit. There's a rare antique in there too. Alright, let's dump the medicinal herbs. We're not gonna use a lot of food when we camp. We're not gonna feast every single time. Hmm. I guess I'll dump one emerald? Ah, don't really want to do that. Uh, I'll dump the sapphire because I know that there's gonna be some interactables. And I could possibly get a uh, minor antique from it. So I'm losing a thousand here. For dropping the emerald and grabbing these medicinal herbs, but I'm making a wager that I'm gonna get something. Hopefully this dude doesn't start wasting away before the mission's over. Hey, beast carcass, just like I thought. Eat. Eat. Eat! We don't have space, right? No, we don't have any empty space. So we'll just use the antiquarian. Please die. Bleed. Okay, bleed. Bleed. No. No web. No webbing. Stop it. Spiders. No, please. No spit. No. Oh, God. Their accuracy is just as bad as ours. Holy shit. You guys suck. I'm 
I'm gonna bust the Jester because I'm afraid he's gonna get critted multiple times. Alright, let's camp and get some buffs for the rest of the battles. I'm gonna stress heal our Jester because he might refuse to eat during the campfire. You know, because he's got the Crimson Curse and stuff and he's, uh, he's hungering for blood. Creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Hmm. Okay, so we've got three more torches. That's gonna get burnt up pretty fast. Uh, we got a pile of gold here that we can accrue. We might get another beast carcass somewhere around here. Do we need this much food? I don't think so. We're just taking the medicinal herbs just to interact with them and get the minor antiques. Oops, oops, oh, up. Uh, I tried to eat the food. All right, well, whatever, We, you know, it, it's not gonna let us. Alright, uh, stress, buff for stress, buff again for stress, buff another time for stress reduction. Alright, skip that campfire dialogue. It's a generic dialogue, you'll see it a thousand times over. That's why I buffed her for stress, because since he's hungering for the blood, he's gonna he's gonna start touching all sorts of crap, and he's gonna stress her out every time she interacts with something. our torches for just a little bit longer. So this is gonna be just a clicking fest of slapping the shit out of them. Vigor 
is restored. Alright, one down. Fifteen life restored. Anti-venom. Now, we have none. It's the end of the dungeon. We don't have shit in our inventory except for food. And torches. Attack is groping swipe. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Nobody wants citrines. find some of the blood. It's crazy that we haven't found a single one this entire run. Turn to wasting status so fast. Compassion is a rare. Oh, well, no, not so fast. I guess he did get set to wasting at the very beginning of the dungeon like around here and then we travel all over the place. Or no no no, he went to, from craving to wasting so fast. Yeah, 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 yeah.
remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think we'll take the uh, money over the deeds. Or no, we need to... Uh... We need to expand the Hamlet's uh, roster and stuff, so I guess we need it. Wealth beyond measure. No blood anywhere. Added to the brave and the foolhardy alike. My character just doesn't just randomly die from the Crimson Curse. That'd be pretty a annoying. Considering that we're in a long dungeon, the infestation is low, and we haven't found any blood. And we've searched every curio. This expedition at least promises success. Sorry if you guys hear that beeping in the background. That beeping is a freaking uh, alarm. I'm just gonna mute the mic until uh, until I need to speak. Enjoy the gameplay. If the Jester dies of the Crimson Curse, there's genuinely nothing that we could do about it. There's, there's no blood anywhere. It's supposed to be a common drop, but that's RNG kind of fucking us here. I could have decided, oh, let's bring in some blood, but the infestation rate, I think it was it was low before we even went in in the first place. We could retreat right now, though. 
So, if he dies, I mean, it is our fault. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. I've just realized the microphone was muted. I've been taking advantage of the mute, and I just realized that it just hurt me as a result. Because I was saying, oh, we, we should, we need to expand the hamlet, basically. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Wound care. So we're going to do this a little bit unconventionally. I'm going to heal the yeah, antiquarian. And we're going to use turn back time. This is unusual from our normal camping. But the crusader stress was way too high. Uh, that, that alarm is starting to get on my nerves, which tells me it's getting on you guys' nerves, too. So, mic mute. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Darius, the highwayman. I wonder if we should get a highwayman named and Darius. Make them reenact their adventures, including the death at the end. Alright, Mike back to mute so we can stop listening to that damn alarm.
since we have no torches, I'm gonna try and abuse the Vestal and the Crusader to get some light. Since we have no more torches. Alright, I'm gonna go and fix that damn noise real quick. Thank you. 
prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Some reward for a task well performed. This is the last stretch of it. We're gonna take a short break after this is over. I know my attacks are pretty random because I'm not really uh, focused on the attacks. I'm just trying to kill them right now since these enemies are pretty docile. There's no way any one of these enemies has a damage potential of 30 or 40 in them. <laughs> not in a single turn. They could definitely stack blight on you like crazy though, but we have control over that. We can just force them to, re to repeatedly rend the marked. And uh, that cannot blight.
There was one blood in the entire dungeon. And we found it at the last minute when he was dying. That would, that very well could have been Rip Jester. And ironically, I was just talking about a situation of, you know, giving up. There's literally nothing that we could exchange to get this that would be worth trading. We can't tra none of these are worth trading. And we can't take anymore. All we can hope for is another antique inside of this chest. Oh, no, it's trapped. Okay. Let's see if, uh, okay, nope. No collector spawns, so we'll go back. We're done with the quest! Yay! Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Forty-eight K plus eleven K. Yes. Yes, that's the sixty K goal I'm talking about. This is what I mean when I say we need sixty K from this dungeon. Quick reflexes. Nice. Bulimic. Weld Explorer. Night Blindness. Spiritual. Replaced Nymphomania. Tough. and horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. Well, the fanatic. A very scary individual. Alright, what we got here? Deadly... Eldritch Hater, Beast Slayer, Quick Draw Daredevil. We got a, dr a Jester with Stress Faster, Anemic, Dacomania, Night Blindness, Rune Tactician. None of these really uh, do anything, so it's basically a no quirk Jester, right? now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. Alright, well, we just need to find ourselves one Shard Mercenary Vestal. We don't need, specifically need, a Shard Mercenary Vestal. We could very well just use one of these, but I'd like to keep my own heroes ready at all times. So let's see what we got available. We got uh, Unstable Flesh. We got another Medium Veteran. Short, Medium Veteran, Medium. Killing the Siren, that's the Enchantress. All right, well, let's take everybody out of here and let's end the episode. Thank you everybody for watching and thanks for listening to my stories about not giving up and, and learning to not give up. And to also accept your, your wrongdoings, your mistakes, your errors. And to realize that it's your error, your choice. 
blame all the things outside that we can. Some things outside are outside of your control, but take responsibility for what is yours. That's the lesson of today.